Hi there, welcome to Kids Story Time. Our story for today is called The Rhyming Rabbit by Jola Donaldson and Lydia Monks by the creators of What the Ladybird Heard. It was beginning to get dark when one of the rabbits pricked up his ears and stamped the foot. Fox, he shouted. Straight away, all the rabbits ran to their burrow, all except for the rhyming rabbit who closed his eyes and made up a palm about the fox. Oh, fearful fox, all rusty red, you fill our rabbit hearts with dread. So silently you crouch and sniff until you catch our rabbit whip. So hungrily, you cunning beast, you stalk your tasty rabbit feast. You're sly and crafty, through and through, but we can run as fast as you. Don't rhyme, run, yelled the other rabbits. The rhyming rabbit opened his eyes, saw the fox, and ran. He reached the burrow just in time. It was night time. The tired rabbits lay down together in their burrow, all except for the rhyming rabbit who sat apart from the others, singing a song to them. Sleep, rabbit, sleep, snuggle up and close your eyes, and listen to my lullabies. Sleep, rabbit, sleep, dream, rabbits, dream, of grassy fields and sunny hours, and cabbages and cauliflowers. Dream, rabbits, dream. Stop singing, go to sleep, said the other rabbits. The rhyming rabbit felt sad and lonely. The other rabbits were all snoring, but he couldn't get to sleep. The other do nothing but moan. I'm going to go off on my own, he said to himself, and he started to dig. He dug a long tunnel, and to keep himself going, he made up a short digging palm. Dig, dig, quick, quick, scrabble, scrabble, kick, kick. The tunnel led him up and down and round a corner where he met a worm. The rhyming rabbit stopped in his tracks and made up a new palm. Wonderful worm, deep in the soil, why do you wiggle and curl and coil? Where are you going? Where have you been? How do you manage to stay so clean? How do you change your shape like that, from long and skinny to short and fat? And one more thing that's been bothering me, how can you bear to eat earth for tea? But the worm said nothing. He had no ears, so he couldn't hear the palm. Round the next corner, the rhyming rabbit met them all. The mole's eyes were very small, but he did have ears. Maybe he would enjoy a spot of poetry. The rhyming rabbit stood on his hind legs and began to recite. Marvelous small as black as coal, with shoveling toes and pointed nose. You snuffle around beneath the ground. You're practically blind, but never mind. At least you can hear, so lend an ear, and hear when I say, moles rule, okay? Be quiet, said the mole. I'm looking for worms. The rhyming rabbit felt very lonely, but he carried on digging. He dug and he dug till he met a centipede. Straight away, he thought up his best foam yet. Oh, centipede with a hundred legs, supposing you laid a hundred eggs, and supposing the baby centipedes had a hundred legs like their mom and dad, how many legs would that be? And supposing the baby centipedes grew, and they each laid a hundred eggs like you, and all of the new little sisters and brothers 
had just the same number of legs as the others. How many legs would that be? Shut up, said the centipede. I hate sums. The Rami rabbit felt sadder and lonelier than ever, and he felt hungry too. He dug his way up out of the earth and into the open air and found himself on a hill. The grass was covered in dew. It tasted delicious. The Rami rabbit ate and ate till he felt much better. Then he gazed up at the night sky and made up a new palm. Oh, midnight blue and velvet sky, oh, silver stars so bright and high, oh, yellow moon so clear and full that shines on trees and grass, and, 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 the rhyming rabbit couldn't think of a rhyme for full. He stopped and scratched his head. Wool, said a voice. The rhyming rabbit turned around and saw a woolly sheep standing beside him. Thank you, sheep, you found a rhyme, he said. And the sheep replied, I make up poems all the time. Another poet! The rhyming rabbit stared in wonder. Before he could think of a rhyming reply, the sheep went on. How nice it is to meet a rabbit with whom to share my rhyming habit. The rhyming rabbit felt so happy that he decided to make up a poem for the sheep. O oh, pretty and poetic sheep who stands upon the hill so steep with handsome horns and woolly fleece as white as snow or clouds or, or, or. Geese, suggests the sheep. She smiled at the rabbit and added, Shall I make up a poem for you? Oh, yes, I pray for you, sheep, please do, replied the rhyming rabbit. So the sheep cleared her throat and recited, Any old rabbit can dig, any old rabbit can feed, but a rabbit who knows how to make up palms is a special rabbit indeed. Any old rabbit can run, any old rabbit can sleep, but only a very special rabbit could make a palms with a sheep. The rhyming rabbit sighed happily. The sun came up. It was a beautiful day. The rhyming rabbit and the sheep stayed together all day, making up palms about the sun and the flowers and the trees. As evening fell and their shadows grew long, the rhyming rabbit remembered his family back in the burrow, and he said to the sheep, The others must be getting worried. Goodbye, dear friend, it's time I hurried. The sheep looked very sad and said, You go? Oh no, oh whoa, oh sorrow. But the rhyming rabbit replied, I will come back again tomorrow. A Rabbit with an Ear for Rhyme, a picture book perfection by Sunday Telegraph. The Rhyming Rabbit by the creators of What the Ladybird Heard. I hope you like the story. If you do, please give it a thumbs up, share, and subscribe. Till next time, bye-bye.